Hello, good morning. This is Edwin and this is Dango's Diary. How are you guys doing? It's a bright sunny day out here in Thailand. If you are just uh, tuning in, please click the subscribe button, like and share the video. For today's video, I'd like us to look at forces. What is a force? A force is a push or pull applied on an object. A force is a push or pull applied on an object. For example, when we kick a ball, this is a force. We have exerted force on the ball by kicking. So that is false. Again, when we push a shopping cart or trolley at the shopping mall, that is false. Pushing, we are exerting force on the trolley. There are lots and lots of examples of forces, how we apply forces in our daily activities. But what you should understand is that basically there are two groups of forces. The first one is a contact force and the second one is a non-contact force force. Contact force means physical touch. You touch something. For example, when you tie your shoelace, by tying, you're pulling the string. You are applying force by pulling. So that is a contact force. In essence, applied force. So you see contact here is touching. Everything that we do which involves force is contact. Whereas non-contact force here it happens without any physical contact. Like you think of magnetism, you know, magnet attracts metals. When magnet attracts metals, there is no contact. It's natural. You think of force of gravity, whatever goes up or comes down, that is natural as well. That is why it is being categorized into two groups, contact and non-contact forces. Food for thought. Think of other situations where you can see forces in play. It could be contact. It could be non-contact. Again, a word or a topic that is closely related to force is motion. What is motion? Motion is a movement of an object. So force and motion works together simultaneously. For example, if you think of a moving car, it's in motion. There is a force there, applied force. Because when we press the gas, it prepares the car to move. Or when you push a broken car, the process of pushing, that is a contact force. So you're actually pushing and the car is in motion. So forces here helps to make things move. It equally helps to make things stop. Like when you kick a ball and the goalkeeper catches the ball, the process of kick is force that has been applied. And the process of catching the ball is also force that has been applied by stopping the ball. So basically, a force is a push or pull that is applied on an object. And there are two types or two categories of forces. There is a contact force and non-contact force. Contacts here involves physical touch. Non-contact doesn't involve physical touch. With non-contact, you think of the force of gravity. Whatever goes up comes down. And motion is a movement of an object. You young learners, adult learners as well, this is a very basic introduction to what force is. I hope this helps. And if you have any question, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Ciao.